Okay, we're back today to finish up our uh, trifecta here of talking about the Badwater 135. And uh, ta-da, I, I did complete the race. It took me 41 hours and 19 minutes to go 135 miles. So uh, not too bad. I still had six hours, six and a half hours to uh, complete the race. So they give you a time of 48 hours. So not too bad. Pretty speedy. But uh, all in all, the race was uh, just fantastic. Uh, it was kind of overwhelming at times. When you get there to the, uh, they have a gymnasium where you go in, you sign up and you get your stuff. You see all these fit athletes. Uh, it gets a little intimidating and stuff. So, you know, the butterflies are going, you get very excited. And uh, the race has three starts, a, a 6, a 7, and an 8 o'clock a.m. start. That's kind of, I think, the spread out the group. I was in the 8 o'clock start, which was nice because I was with all the elite runners. Not that I'm an elite runner, but uh, I was lucky enough to be able to get and stand there with all the top guys. So that was uh, that was pretty impressive itself. Um, the beginning of the race, you know, I was pretty calm. Uh, Cameron gave me an avocado, and I don't know if that might be a new thing to uh, eat an avocado before we start uh, any uh, long stage race, but uh, it did work out well, calmed the nerves. So uh, we took off, first 23 miles was up a hill, went up, uh, or should say a mountainside, where we would go up for uh, 23 miles to 10,000 feet. Uh, going up that was, uh, actually felt rather good. You know, from being the taper I put in and all the training and stuff, uh, I was doing a goo every half hour, everything was feel feeling uh, pretty good. By the time I got to the top, uh, I must say I was feeling a little queasy, lightheaded, I think, and not so much for the amount of energy I was putting out, but I just think of the altitude itself. So I was like, hey, let's get off this mountain. So uh, we turned around. And I was running uh, pretty good down the mountain. The only My biggest problem there was I wasn't able to, to eat much only because I think of the um, – the altitude and that stuff. So I uh, came down off the mountain, felt really good. The only thing is you feel the heat rise once again, once we got down. And there was a nice, uh, neat section to run through uh, in Lone Pine. It starts in Lone Pine, uh, California. And that's a uh, movie history spot for old Westerns. And they had this road closed and uh, the road, we were only ones that got to go on the road. It was closed for us. And uh, there was probably a four or five mile section of that. And it was just huge rocks. It was just gorgeous. And I know they filmed a bunch of the cowboy and Indian kind of stuff where they're hiding in the rocks and that kind of stuff. So really neat section to go through. A um, little bit warm. Got back in the Lone Pine, which was uh, mile 45. Felt pretty good. Did a change of shoes. Uh, there you could pick up a pacer uh, if you want or, you know, an aid runner, which I picked up. Cameron came with me. So he jumped in for, I think, about 10 miles. So uh, we ran out 10 miles. Uh, that felt pretty good. And we got to the other long climb. So Cameron stopped. He got ready. To, he was going to do the long climb with me. Uh, that was at Cerro Gordo. It's a ghost town where you go from 3,000 foot or 3,500 feet up to 9,000. So it was like a 5,500 uh, foot elevation within um, eight miles. So that was pretty neat. It was all rocky. You had to bring your hydration vest, whatever food you were going to eat, that kind of stuff. So at that point... Uh, as I started climbing that, my energy really went from not eating earlier, I think, coming down to one hill. So I was paying a little bit uh, going up that hill. Cameron was fantastic, helping me out. I said, hey, let's uh, pick this rock out. Let's run to this rock. Then we'll take a little break. Break just means walking. And it got to a point where it was so steep going up this mountain, um, you just had to walk anyway. You know what I'm saying? And you tried to walk in a straight line, but uh, gravity kept on pulling me one way or another. So uh, not too bad. Uh, went up to the ghost town. Uh, to me, there was a picture inside the bar. We went and looked in there real quick. If anybody's seen Durango Unchained, I could have swore it's the same picture in there. I want to go back and look at the movie. But uh, anyway, they had filmed that out there also. Uh, turned around, bailed off that hill, eight miles down, um, took a break had some uh, soup, that kind of stuff, then got out onto the road, took off down the road. You go out to Darwin. It was a good 15 miles. Uh, Cameron took a nap in the car. My brother guy came out and ran with me for a bit. So uh, everything worked out well. Turned around from Darwin. You go all the way back into Lone Pine now. 
that's kind of where the things, the wheels on my bus fell off there for a while. But uh, the one nice thing is you have a support crew of four people that came. My brother came, two real good friends of mine uh, came with us, and also Cameron. So they were taking care of me, and uh, it, worked out, it worked out well. Uh, I wasn't feeling the best, but long and short of it, uh, they were there to help me. And the other thing was everybody from our training group. Uh, was Facebooking, uh, emailing Cameron, all those uh, words of encouragement was a big inspiration and definitely helped me through uh, some dark periods there. It was pretty uh, pretty bad. At one point, I was laying on the side of the road, had an ice pack on my hip. Uh, one of the guys I had been running with, I'd seen after the race, he said, all he did is ran by and said, I'm not looking, I'm not looking, I'm not looking. So it was uh, it was just one of those kind of things. So long story short, at the, uh, we got to Lone Pine, only had 13 miles left. The only problem there is that goes from about 3,700 feet to 8,000, <laughs> all straight up the side of the mountain. Cameron, again, once a uh, once again a trooper, a real hero here, helped uh, me climb and attack that hill. And uh, long story short, uh, we made it at uh, 119 on Tuesday night. And all in all, I can say it was a uh, fantastic experience. Um, it is just one of those kind of things where you uh, you work out for something, you, you, you think about doing something. At times it does get hard, but when you have uh, like the training group, those kind of people behind you, family and friends, the people that was there, uh, it's really not that hard. It is like I say, you know, you left, right, repeat. It's pretty easy. You just keep on at it. You smile, you enjoy, you be with some good people. So uh, all I would say is, you know, anybody thinking of doing something or you're thinking something's too tough, it really isn't uh, if you want to do it for one and if you got the people behind you to do it. So uh, all in all, my bad water experience was fantastic. I had a great time. We had a lot of laughs, uh, some things I wish I can say, but, uh, mm -hmm. you know, it was just, uh, just a great time. So remember, running is easy. Right, left, repeat. Just don't forget to smile.